So we are going to change the oil in this gearbox here. And when you lift off the lid, look at that oil. It looks like a milkshake. Oil definitely is not supposed to look like that. So let's get changing it. So this is a 1968 Ford tractor that we're going to be changing the oil on. So now we're under the tractor and we're going to remove the oil drain plug for the gear shifting box. Now it's loose enough, we can just take it out by hand. Make sure you have a pan underneath. And it doesn't quite come out, but you can see the oil is not supposed to look like that. Now we're just going to let as much drain out as we can. Now this cork is actually for drawers and stuff as you can see on the picture, but it's hard to get gaskets for these old tractors, so let's try this. So here we got the cork, and let's clean this off and put it on. With a razor blade, you wanna just scrape this and make sure all of the debris is off of the face. With a flat file, just go over it and make sure that there's no burrs. Make sure you keep the file flat while you're doing this. Now with some paper towels and rubbing alcohol, just take some of this and clean it off. When you turn around, you can see all the gunk and grit it's getting. So here's the adhesive, the cork adhesive. Let's peel this off. Just like that, and apply it on. I want to make sure to put this on straight, and then we'll we'll cut this out with an X-Acto knife. So now you can just go ahead and feel around for the holes. There is a hole. So let's take the X-Acto knife and cut out this hole. Now you can feel around where the big hole is and start cutting out the gasket itself. So keep going around the outside until you have your gasket made. Follow around that last curve. And there's your inside part and we're gonna save that because that's still useful. And now you cut out the rest of your holes. Here's the gasket all cut out and this will definitely help the water from not getting in there. in the transmission and in the differential. From our research that we've done, it seems like they all, uh, they both take universal trans hydraulic fluid or UTF fluid, and that is the fluid that goes in here, because Ford doesn't sell this anymore because the tractors are so old. When you look on the back of the UTF fluids, it should have a one, two, three D spec, which both of these do not have. Now since this already has a little bit and we're not sure if it's leaking, we are going to use this stuff, but once we get everything topped off and sniffed off, we might actually add the 123D spec. So a lot of people are using the UTF fluid that doesn't have the 123D spec, the 303. So this stuff only goes down to about 32 degrees, but we're just going to clean the system out and it's quite a lot cheaper than the 123D spec. So right here is the fill port, and whenever you fill it up there, you'll take off this plug here, and whenever it starts draining out from there, you'll know that it's full. So this bolt here can be very stuck, and we got this tool from Irwin, and it has this inner tornado, which grips on anything. It has gotten us out of so many hard situations. So this is a really, really nice tool. Turn all the fluid out. Go ahead and put the plug back in. Once you have it snugged up, we're going to go ahead and put the fluid in. Now let's go ahead and put the UTF fluid into the transmission.
so it's pretty tight in there. So we're just going to pour it into a smaller container and keep adding. Now just keep adding until it comes out the sight hole. So this definitely takes a lot. This has probably been about three gallons and you can see it is finally coming out of the hole. So that's good. Go ahead and put the sight plug back in and tighten up the cap and you're done servicing the transmission. Now we're going to take out this sight plug and the cap up here to fill it up. So this is a 5 8 bolt and we're going to go ahead and take out the sight bolt. There it is. So this is a 7 8 so let's go ahead and take it off so we can fill it. Now it's opened up, let's go ahead and start adding the fluid. We know there's some oil in here, but it's definitely low. If we put this string in here, to act as kind of like a dipstick, and then pull it out, you can see we got a little bit of oil there and there, and a little bit up there, but it definitely needs a lot more oil. This is another reason why we're putting in the cheaper stuff, is because we don't know if all of the seals are leaking so if they were leaking we would be putting in expensive stuff and it would just be leaking onto the ground go ahead and just keep pouring in until it comes out the sight plug now we're at about two gallons and it still hasn't come out the sight plug so we're gonna have to pick up some more As we were filling up the differential, you can see that the brake is dripping. So it has a leak and we need to fix that. So we're not going to fill it up to the sight hole until we get that fixed. And that is why we bought the cheaper stuff because if we bought the expensive stuff, it would have all just dumped onto the ground. There was a grinding sound, but then when we added the liquid, it took care of that. And you can tell that there's a leak here and I can actually just reach my finger all the way through this seal and there's a hole right in the top. So that's a big problem. So Tractor Supply sells the correct spec of transmission fluid for this thing. So I hope this video was useful. If it was, don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll see you next time.